Magandang araw, April and Marcus po, ang inyong pretty ate sa EdTech Unit. Alam ba ninyo, nung may webinar o online training session ng EdTech Unit tuwing Sabado, ang araw na ito ay nakalaan para sa ating mga mahal na kaguruan upang turuan sila ng mga bagong kaalaman at kakayahan sa paggamit ng mga bagong software at applications para sa pinaka-epektibong paraan at lubos mapagkusay ang kanilang paraan ng pagtuturo. This is also our fresher session for our beloved teachers to enhance their skills in technology. Every Saturday, we will conduct webinar sessions for teachers about the use, advantages, and relevance of different blended learning software applications. Ang webinar sharing ito ay magsisimula ng alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali para sa morning session. Magsisimula naman ng alauna at magtatapos ng alas 4 ng hapon ang afternoon session. You can watch us in our Depth Ed EdTech Unit Facebook page, Educational Technology Unit YouTube channel, Depth Ed Tayo, and Depth Ed Philippines. Kita-kits tayo tuwing Sabado! for our grade 12 students. And uh, again, I am your tutor, Shen. And please do not forget our schedule. It's every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Also, please do not forget to like and uh, share the following Facebook pages for Itulai Online Tutorial. We have their uh, Depth Ed, Ed, Ed Tech Unit Deb Ed Philippines and Deb Ed Tayo, as well as uh, please like and share. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, subscribe to the following YouTube channel. We have their Deb Ed Ed Tech Unit and Deb Ed TV. Okay. So once again, uh, magandang umaga po sa ating mga viewers today, especially sa ating mga learners. Okay, I hope uh, you are doing great sa inyong mga bahay, sa kanya-kanyang mga bahay, and as well as you are able to keep up all the tasks and activities given by your uh, given by your teachers po, no? And uh, uh, malapit na pong matapos ang um, ang, uh, ang ang quarter natin for Hope 4. So we are already in uh, week 6 na po tayo. We still have two more weeks okay, after after this week to be able to finish the subject health optimizing physical education and health for. And uh, somehow we are about to start. Um, let me greet po ang ating mga viewers for today. Okay. Ba batiin ko na po si Desiree Kurt Arboso. Yes. Good morning sa yo. Okay, from Antipola City Senior High School. Good morning, uh, Desiree. And also, uh, welcome to our Itulay Online Tutorial for Hope 4. Magandang umaga po sa, sa inyong lahat. Okay. Ayan. So still, we will just welcome... Uh, other students uh, from different uh, places in in the Philippines. So get keep it coming, na lang po. Again, good morning, and uh, we are about to start. Ang ating uh, week six. Okay. For our week six, we will be discussing on kayaking and canoeing. Uh, last time. 
we started learning some aquatic recreational activities. I hope you could still remember the the active uh, the the topics that we were able to learn last week. So are you guys excited to learn more about kayaking and canoeing? Uh, somehow, um, mas familiar tayo or uh, maybe we are familiar with this kind of activity. But then on, uh, we are more on to recreational swimming. Okay. So let's find out later on the characteristic, the nature of kayaking and canoeing. Let me present to you our most essential learning competency that we uh, that is very important for us to learn. Okay, so that's uh, we have there demonst uh, demonstrates proper etiquette and safety in the use of facilities and equipment. Okay, so uh, we have added viewers po. Uh, let me greet lang. Uh, good morning, Kat. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Lanilin. So welcome for our Itulai online tutorial for Hope 4. Good morning then, Camille and April and Chanelin. Okay, so that's our learning uh, learning competency. So we will learn more about the proper etiquette and safety in the use of faci facilities and equipment. These are the objectives we have first. Uh, let us discuss the nature of kayaking and canoeing. So how does it differ with other aquatic recreational activities? Aside from that, um, let's demonstrate proper etiquette and safety in the use of facilities and equipment. And lastly, value the importance of proper etiquette and following the safety protocols in the use of facilities and equipment. Since we are in the current situation that uh, there is COVID uh, around the world and uh, we also have uh, we have to follow yung mga safety protocols though uh, it would depend no uh, kung MECQ for example uh, hindi bawal pa ang gym okay usually pag ECQ MECQ bawal ang mga it's not open for uh, hindi open ang mga uh, gym facilities and limited pa rin yung mga outdoor activities natin though for MECQ we can uh, we can we can engage in in jogging but we have to to follow yung mga safety protocols po natin let's have a quick review regarding our previous lesson i hope you could still remember our lesson for week uh, week five. So let's refresh ourselves with the previous topic. So good morning again. Yes, good morning, Jeline, Evelyn. Okay, good morning, Sir Paralag from the La Paz National High School. Welcome po. So students, uh, our activity is, can you guess the pick? Regarding our previous lesson, ano po ba yung recreational activity that you have learned last week? Okay, so all you have to do is, um, as I showed the pic on the screen, you guess the the picture, and somehow you can also give some characteristic or uh, the use of that particular picture or even uh, um, what could be the effect or the cause or treatment for the following pictures. So let's start our first picture. Okay. So students, so we have this first picture. What do we call this picture? And can you tell me, uh, can you cite um, any description about the follow uh, the picture? that you can see on our screen. Anybody, students? While waiting for the answer po, uh, good morning, Dominga Tapales from Tunga District. Good morning, Maria Concepcion Javier Bago. Yeah, welcome, Yolanda Ponsalan. 
Welcome, Randy Tolentino, watching from SDO, Santiago City. Okay, so sabi ni Desiree Nilahana, Kat, that is, yeah, so we have there the swimming fins. Very good. So this could aid us, no, uh, underwater as we swim. How about the next picture? Kindly guess, ano naman po kaya ang picture na nakikita nyo? Anong tawag, uh, ano pong tawag natin dito? You may also, um, you may also mention uh, what could be the, um, the use or the function ng picture na nakikita po ninyo. So let me, let me check what is, what is your answer. Okay. Sabi ni Hazel Ligaya, it's, yeah, we have there the snorkel. Very good. Same thing with, uh, with Kat, her answer is snorkel. Yes. So that is a breathing device, no? Um, so we can breathe air uh, from above the surf surface, especially when yung, uh, uh, the wearer's head is face downwards in the water. So we have there. Tama po iyan. Yan po ay snorkel. And the next picture, what do we have? Ano naman po kaya ang gamit nitong picture na to? So please mention, what is this picture? Yeah, good morning, John Lee de la Cruz from Kawayan City, Isabela. Yes, very good, Hannah. We ha and also kay Antoinette, their answer is, yes, it's it's called goggles. And uh, this kind of accessory, uh, this equipment, it uh, it allows us no, to, to see clearly underwater. And also, we can also appreciate uh, the living uh, or the water or the marine lives or the water resources so that's that uh that's goggles okay how about uh conditions these are body conditions based on the picture we talk about uh body conditions that might that might happen or that uh might experience of an individual if they are engaging to such physical activity. So we studied four body conditions. Having this picture, what body conditions can you think of? Among the four, so by looking at the picture, ano po kaya ang body condition na ito? Okay, so let me check your answer po. Sabi ni Lanilin, yes, that is correct. That is dehydration. Very good. So that is dehydration. Now, when we engage to such activities, uh, we we lose fluid, okay, in or or water inside uh, our body. And I hope, uh, special also during this um, hot weather, no, uh, let's drink a lot of water to prevent us from dehydration. Let's have the next picture. Okay, how about this next picture? What kind of uh, body, uh, bodily condition is this? Okay, that is correct, Charlotte. We have there the hypothermia. So as you can see, no, uh, nilalamig siya. So because there is a abnormally low body temperature ng isang individual, that's why he can experience um, hypothermia. Next. So I guess you can you can guess this uh, uh, body condition. 
it's the opposite of hypothermia. And we have there, yes, tama po, ang, at ang, ang body condition naman na ito ay hyperthermia. So this is the opposite of ay hypothermia. So there will be an alarming rise of body temperature. Very good, students. So that is hyperthermia. That's correct, Carl Jasper. Next, uh, the last one. Okay, how about this one? I guess you could also guess this one. Dahil ito na lang yung natitira sa uh, bodily conditions that we've learned last time. And that is, if we push too hard ourselves in, in training or engaging sa physical activities, an individual might lead to, yes, that's correct, Chanelin, we have their over-exertion. So over-exertion, it's also the same with overtraining. Good work, students. Uh, um, for our review, you're able to remember what you have learned last time. Let's now have another activity. It's entitled Essential Question. Now, I want you to look at the pictures that I will flash on the screen later on. So you look at it, and uh, I want you to create a question based on the shown pictures. Again, sa picture na ipapakita ko po, I want you to create a certain question, kahit one question that is related with this picture. So any question that you can think of and uh, later on, masagot natin yung mga essential question na inyong uh, naisip as we go along with our discussion today. Sige nga po students, kindly create a question out of this picture. Okay, while waiting for your question related to the picture, let me greet uh, our viewers. Yes, good morning. Shari May Sabado from Malig Central School, Maine. Okay, can you think of a certain question related with this picture? Now, sabi ni Evelyn... What recreational activity uh, are present in, in that picture? Okay, so based on the picture, what do we call this recreational activity? Okay, thank you for that, Evelyn. Sabi naman ni Chanelin, what are the equipments needed to perform the activity? Very good. According to Hazel Ligaya, is that activity safe? Good. Uh, from Lanilin naman, habay-habay. What are the safety tips in performing this activity? Good job, students. So same thing kay Desiree, no? What recreation, recreational activity is shown? Good. Are there any other questions that you, that you can think of with this picture? So let's take note of that, no? What is that recreational activity? Is that safe? What could be the some uh, safety tips, okay. equipment needed for this? Okay. All right. Or even the benefits. What are the very good? What are the benefits of this particular recreational activity? Good work, students. And let's now start and know more about this picture. So we are going to talk about kayaking and canoeing. Let's uh, learn its nature, its, its characteristic. So both canoeing and kayaking involve paddling a small craft through the water. They are uh, low impact activities that can improve your aerobic fitness, strength, and flexibility. So you can see that uh, we, since it's a physical activity, we can really 
benefit from this kind of activity because of of the uh, physical benefits, even uh, mental benefits that we can gain from this activity. Um, from so we have the kayaking and canoeing. We're gonna learn more about this spot, but let's identify no how do they differ with each other yes we know that this uh, activities kayaking and uh, and canoeing they are you know they they are both um uh, an aquatic activity so you they usually use uh we call this uh, a small craft and they are paddling through the water Look at this picture. So you could also see the difference. Though they ha they are used, uh, this kind of uh, fun and uh, somehow sa ibang activity niya uh, or anong uh, type niya, no? it can be a challenging activity. So how do they differ from each other? So you can see the, this is the paddle. Sa ang kaya dyan, ang cano for uh, canoeing and where is the uh, kayak for kayaking. So can you guess ano po kaya ang pagkakaiba nila? How they look? Yes, the, they differ, no? Sa mismo, uh, sa itsura, what else? Even... The paddle that uh, they used or a boat driver used in this particular activity. So you can see ang paddle and uh, yung, as you can see, the vessel kung open ba siya or closed ba siya. Okay, so that's how we can differ kayaking and canoeing. Okay, Raymond Baltasar already mentioned no, yung difference ng kano and uh, and kayak. Okay, so let me let me read uh, Raymond's answer. In kayak, the paddler is seated and uh, and he uses a double bladed paddle, pulling the blade through the water. And sabi niya alternate sides. Okay, may idea na siya. Meanwhile, when we talk about cano, uh, maaring ang uh, paddler or yung boat driver they kneel or they can sit, but they are just using single bladed paddle. So I guess you could already different, uh, you already know rather which one is for canoeing and which one is for kayaking. So thank you for that, Raymond. So let's start with cano. So cano, it this is a an open vessel, so it's open as you can see here, and. Uh, the boat driver or the paddler, he sits or kneels inside this canoe and he is using a single bladed paddle to be able to push the craft to the water. So we have there the canoe. Next is the, the kayak. A kayak is an enclosed vessel and the person sits in the kayak. So you can see here, this is where he sits and then he is about to extend his legs and this is what we call the double bladed paddle okay, so that's for that's how uh, that's the difference between the kayak and the canoe so for for kayaking uh, usually it allows the boat driver to maneuver through waterways so sabi natin uh, he will sit face forward as he propel ahead Sabi kanina ni Raymond, alternating side to side ng paddle strokes. And uh, also for, for canoeing, uh, a boat driver or a paddle is just using a single bladed. Um, aside from this recreational activity, uh, going back with our our history as well, no? it also a means... Uh, a means of transportation. Uh, commonly, it's a means of transportation. Before, it is just made up of wood 
in some um, in a skin that is a common material para lang i-cover yung boat. So that was that was uh, before. But gradually as people st uh, people started using variety of materials na uh, to build this kayak and also this canoe. Ang mga materials na to make it more uh, para maging mas matibay, durable, they are now using uh, fiber glasses, okay? It's made up of fiber or even naman ay plastic. Meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng paddling activities. So as we as we paddle using this canoe and as we use this kayak, we can uh, we can uh, do different paddling activities. So ano hinat uh, paano kaya ano kaya yung pagkakaiba ng mga paddling activities? Well, uh, the activity is uh, ad, yung iba it is adapted kumbaga na design kasi siya para ma-fit yung demands ng uh, intended activity or even the environment so let's learn uh, about the different types of paddling activities so first we have there the uh, flat water recreation so ano po ba yung flat water recreation? Well, uh, ito yung it, it's it's the most uh, activity that people can imagine when they think of canoeing or kayaking. Yung tipong you you just gently paddle down sa isang calm river or or lake, okay? And you enjoy sightseeing. So na enjoy mo yung calm ocean waters o in uh, or inland lake system so that's the flat water recreation aside from that meron naman din tayong tinatawag na sea kayaking so particularly okay sa sea sa dagat so this is paddling in the sea next we also have this sailing kumbaga yung canoe or yung kayak okay nilagyan natin it is is it, it is fitted with a sail that's for sailing we also have what we call surf kayaking. So we use a kayak and then uh, kumbaga, it's, it has a, uh, it is fitted with a fin kesa yung mga, parang mga ano, surfboard, okay? Rather like a surfboard, itong ginagamit for surf kayaking. Also from, for kung meron tayo mga, ano lang no, mga uh, pang low impact na activity for for canoeing and kayaking. Meron din tayong maaring uh, um, maging vigorous activity activity na siya for this kind of recreational activity. So this uh, we we have what we call the sprint racing. So from the word racing, so pabilisan, so it's it, it's it's a race using the canoe or kayak across a calm water. So remember we have there the calm water. Next, we have the ocean racing. Okay, so typically, ito ay ginagawa, isinasagawa sa ocean. And uh, this would require extreme skills and, and, and fitness. Okay, so that's for ocean racing. We also have the marathon racing. Okay, so marathon medyo, ano, ang race nito ay, it's, it's, it's a lengthy race. Okay, so for example, they are racing uh, down a long river. Next one, we have there uh, what we call the slalom. Okay, what do we call the slalom? Um, for, for slalom, uh, an individual here, okay, kumbaga, uh, when he do this activity, that would be against the clock. Meaning to say, he, uh, the boat driver or the paddler, okay, would negotiate with, with the water course. Kung baga, meron mga uh, obstacles, steering obstacles, okay, around that uh, an, a certain individual has to go through. Next one, we have what we call the Cano Polo. Now, uh, this consists of players. No, it can be. It can. It can consist two teams, and each two teams consist of five players, and they would compete 
uh, to to score uh, using a water polo ball. So may may meron po tayong tinatawag na water polo ball. That's why it's called a cano polo. Next one, we have the so-called freestyle. Uh, this is um, uh, what the paddler does in this particular is uh, particular activity is um, they, they do some acrobatic tricks as they maneuver okay, a river. Kumbaga, for example, it features a wave or a hole. So those are some of the acrobatic tricks that a, bat, a paddler can, can perform. And last, uh, and, uh, and also meron din tayong tinatawag na wild water, actually, no? Uh, let me add the wild water. It's, it's a competition. Uh, they call it as an ultimate combat. Kumbaga, yun na yung medyo ex ma extreme, no? Kasi it's like human versus the river. Okay, so um, we're in, uh, kumbaga, yung flow ng, ng river, uh, flowing water. So that's why, um, kumbaga, yung, yung skills needed, okay, yung, yung strength as well as you uh, combat with the river. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag naman nating wild water. Let's now move on to the health benefits of kanak uh, of canoeing and kayaking. So, kanina no may nag ask uh, their uh, sabi ni ni Makaraeg kanina na what could be the benefits as if you engage to this particular activity. Let's have here first uh, it can improve one's cardio, uh, cardiovascular fitness. Now as we go through as we go through the uh, the water, as you paddle through the water, no, it can be a good activity uh, that is uh, in, uh, that could benefit your heart. So, as you do this kind of activity, um, meron ding mga study no uh, conducted with this kind of activity. Na when you engage this kind of uh, water activity, uh, it enables us to pump blood, okay, around the body more efficiently. And uh, as uh, particularly um, as you go uh, as you paddle, no, it could take uh, it could take, for example, thirty minutes, or de depending, no, it, it it could take you an hour as you engage to this activity. Next, we have uh, increased muscle strength, so that's also one. Um, since, for example, um, what are the body parts? Uh, that uh, that is moving when we do this canoeing and kayaking. So we usually use our back, our arms, even our shoulders and chest. Because as we as we paddle to the uh, as we paddle through the water. Another is it can increase torso and leg strength. Okay, kumbaga, uh, with uh, with this particular activity uh, of. Uh, canoeing and kayaking no uh, kasi it's it's a rotating torso and uh, somehow affected na din because we apply pressure sa ating legs okay as we paddle and lastly it can reduce risk of wear and tear on joints and tissues natin well depende din kasi sa paddling activity but mostly if it's a a recreational it's a recreational canoeing and uh, kayaking. Uh, it is considered a low impact, um, low impact uh, activity. So it's like uh, you're just paddling, and then you're just enjoying uh, the scenery. So that's why um, hindi siya katulad ng tumatakbo ka when when you run. Okay, we're in uh, in that case, uh, mas mas napupuersa ang inyong mga joints. Okay. mas napupuwersa ang ang inyong um, uh, party muscles and yung risk it because of this low impact activity no so mas ma-reduce ang risk para sa wear and and wear and tear joints meaning to say or uh, in a nutshell no po 
uh, kumbaga mas hindi tayo prone sa mga body injuries if we engage in a recreational canoeing or kayaking. Now, may nag-ask din kanina, what are uh, some of the equipment used for this kind of activity? So, let's know yung tinatawag nating basic kit for canoeing and kayaking. So, these are the things that you need as well if you engage to this kind of activity. So, first, syempre kailangan nyo ng kano or a kayak. So, that's one. Next, uh, you have there the appropriate paddle that you need. So, kung double-bladed ba siya or single-bladed paddle lang siya. And it's uh, for, for beginners or better na rin na uh, as you do this kind of activity, you have this what we call the, P, um, the personal flotation device na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, it's PFD. Okay? Um, ano tong personal flotation device? Kumbaga, you have uh, a life vest or a life jacket okay, to be used in this kind of activity. Next, uh, we have there yung helmet na tinatawag natin. So, this is needed, okay, uh, if there would be a chance na merong, it would uh, hit your head on something hard. Uh, kung hindi, kung sakaling, for example, hindi calm yung yung water. So just in case for for a hard object na pwedeng tumama sa inyong head. Meron tayong tinatawag na wetsuits, okay? And also the spray deck. Um, wetsuits, uh, isama nyo na rin dyan yung tinatawag nating uh, wet booties. Okay? Now, as as a boat driver or a pad uh, a paddler uh, engaged to this activity, syempre we have they have to wear comfortable clothes, okay? And uh, usually pwedeng ang ang ginagamit nila diyan no, the yung tops nila, the usual is they're using rash guards. So ang rash guard kasi it's made of polyester or nylon bladed, okay? And uh, uh, kumbaga it's quick drying. Kumbaga, it 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 uh, kumbaga na it it can be stretched well and uh, yung yung mga iba kasi rush guard no it 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 consists of yung tinatawag nating mga pang protection against damage sa UV rays so that's for uh, rush guard um yung iba naman they are just using no ng mga quick dry uh, yung mga board shorts na tinatawag or some comfortable quick dry pants yung parang uh, mga ginagamit um, uh, yung mga parang ginagamit sa sin, uh, mga synthetic yoga pants okay so that's how can we describe a quick dry pants and yung pinatawag natin sabi ko kanina ng mga uh, yung wetsuit booties okay and kumbaga it would protect your toes okay or your feet and also kasi syempre if you're in uh, in this kind of activity, no, uh, because you're um, you're into the water, all right. So you para hindi kayo den masado nilalamig. Okay, so you have these wetsuits, and uh, yung tinatawag naman po nating spray. Um, we have this spray deck. Okay, ito naman po ay isang flexible waterproof na kino cover sa boat. So, kinocover sa kayak, sa kano. Uh, kasi, di ba, makikita nyo, particularly, mas ano natin sa um, sa kayak. Kasi it's 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 an enclosed vessel po, no? Uh, unlike for, for kano. So, in that case, kinocover nila yung, yung boat kung saan yung merong hole for the passenger space. Okay? So, especially, uh, this spray deck is designed uh, to prevent water from entering the boat while um, the individual is enjoying okay uh, canoeing or or kayaking as he paddle uh, as he as he paddle through the water and enjoy also the scenery ng calm river or ocean or sea all right let's continue 
So those are the basic skits for canoeing and kayaking. These are the things that you need uh, when you engage to this activity. So pwede nyo na rin isama kasi, no? Uh, ito yung kasi yung pinaka-basic. Other than that, uh, your personal stuff na pwede nyo dalhin when you do this activity, uh, it's also necessary na meron kayong first aid kit. Okay? So in case of emergency or may mga injuries that you might experience, uh, kung malayuan, uh, mahabang, mahabang oras ang engage nyo sa activity na to, so might as well uh, uh, bring some drinkable water or even yung mga kahit mga foods, mga small, small pack of high energy foods. Or somehow, kung kaam naman din kasi ang water, okay, kung basang-basa ka na, you could have your your clothes, your dry clothes. Pero syempre, yung dry clothes and your cell phone, your mobile phones, dapat, ano siya, no, uh, nakalagay siya sa isang waterproof container. So those are some of the personal staff stuffs that or things that you can bring when you engage in this particular activity. Now, as we enjoy this kind of activity, o oh, isama na rin po natin yung mga iba't ibang recreational activities that we can do uh, outdoors or indoors, we also have to consider yung tinatawag nating proper etiquette and safety in the use of facilities and equipment. Now that we have a pandemic, okay, uh, meron tayong mga safety protocols protocols na dapat din nating isaalang-alang that we also have to follow, uh, especially kung ano yung um, paalala from ng, ng IATF, or protocols from I, IATF. So we have to to follow those the safety protocols. So let's learn first yung mga proper etiquette and safety in the use of facilities and equipment. So you can also, uh, this would depend on the kind of activity. Pero in general, uh, one of the proper etiquette no, is we have to take care in using facilities and uh, equipment. So kung nasa gym man po kayo, or if you're doing this canoeing and kayaking, so we have to uh, kung baga pangalagaan natin, gamitin natin ng tama ang, um, for example, yung mga mga dumbbells, okay, yung mga kano, yung kayak, yung paddle, kung if it's a dance studio, right, um, or even sa uh, mga pang facility sa Zumba class, whatever equipment you have in this uh, in this kind of activity you have to take care of it aside from that you also have to return the equipment properly so actually kung saan mo siya kinuha i i ibalik din natin kung saan siya dapat nakalagay and hindi rin yung basta bara-bara lang natin na ibabalik kung saan man siya nakalagay so handle it sabi nga natin let's take care of it uh, handle it with care as we return the equipment. Next, let's leave the venue clean. So usually, uh, the, the, the facilities, yung mga organizers or yung, yung may-ari ng facilities na yun, okay, uh, they, they would want na, na malinis, maayos ang, ang gamit and also the venue. So as we leave the, the area, so, panatilihin din natin na malinis, okay? Free from from trash, from garbage, or yung mga personal stuffs ninyo na nakakalat. This is very important. We have to practice proper hygiene. Okay? Uh, needed kung uh, we have to, to, to wash our hands, right? As well as the pag pinapawisan na tayo. Okay, we have to use uh, to we use a, a towel, a face towel, or we can uh, use some sanitizers or also alcohol as we use some of the equipment in the facilities in whatever recreational activity we are into. Also, simply we have to be nice. We are not, uh, kumbaga, 
uh, somehow you are renting, there are people in that particular venue. Kubaga, we, we should also show our respect uh, to the staff or even to the other individuals who are also engaging to that particular activity. Okay, as as we as we talk to them, okay, or as we respect their their time when they are doing that particular activity. So please, it's it's a general rule. Let's be nice to to the individuals okay, that you that you see or yung nakakahalub that you socialize, yung nakakahalubilo nyo within the venue. Next is the safety protocol. So this is very important. And as the gym or other um, mga physical activities, uh, yung mga, may mga businesses were in, they're into physical activities, no? There are certain uh, safety protocols that we have to follow, and we also have to 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 respect. Uh, also, uh, we we respect and follow. I guess you're very familiar with this that uh, we should have a safe entry everywhere. Naman po, no, particularly sa Pilipinas. Uh, if it's an indoor establishment, there is a, a temperature check. So in all sports facilities, so needed talaga to just just to check your body temperature. Other than that, we have to maintain a physical distancing. So particularly what they uh, uh, what they suggest po no na, na dapat it's uh, kung if you uh, kung nasa nasa two meter distance, pero uh, they prefer na kapag ito po ay isang activity wherein it's it's a high intensity activity. So maintain a three meter distance. So that's for mga high movement exercises or high movement physical activities. Next, uh, wear a mask. Uh, this is very important to protect us from the virus as well. Pero kapag uh, pag strenuous activities no it it uh, kumbaga that could be a barrier kasi pag uh, active and uh, intense ang activity so there would be an increase of breathing rate okay but uh kung mga hindi naman siya strenuous activity so i hope uh, we have to to wear our mask and sa atin no um aside from that uh mask uh face shield uh, gumagamit din po tayo nun. Next, we have, uh, this is, uh, if possible to, no? Kasi ang virus, kumakapit din siya sa iba't ibang objects. So, if if it's possible, uh, I hope you can bring your own personal equipment. So, para at least, uh, alam mo, ikaw lang gumagamit. Okay? If in case na hindi ito maiiwasan, so, uh, better na, syempre, you, you sanitize, okay? Uh, you wipe it, uh, you wipe, well, basta sanitize, you wipe it with with alcohol before using the equipment. If in case, you cannot bring your own equipment. Aside from that, so ito rin po, no? Let us avoid touching common public objects with, with our hands, okay? Sabi ko nga, ang virus kumakapit, uh, kumbaga yung yung span ng pagkapit ng virus would also depend whatever material siya. No? Pag sa metal, medyo mas matagal kasi ang, ang, ang kapit ng virus. Next, and uh, the last one po, no? When we perspire because we engage to a physical activity, especially if it's an active one, we, we really tend to perspire and perspire a lot. And with that, better use your towel because sabi nga, we have to avoid touching our face using our hands. So, so that's uh, our, some of the common safety protocols that we have to, to remember and we have to follow para maprotektahan ang ating mga sarili from the virus. So uh, we know that the 
the importance and benefits of physical activities. But then on, uh, although we we wanted to be, you know, you know, we want to be active and we want to achieve some um, fitness. Okay, uh, we want to achieve fitness. Uh, we also have to uh, to bear in mind yung safety natin as we do this particular activity. All right. So those are the the basic uh, first aid and uh, I rather uh, basic uh, kit for canoeing and kayaking and what is implemented these days as we engage to physical activities. Okay. Now let's wrap up. Sige po, let me greet uh, Jeremiah. Good morning from GTD LNHS. Uh, good morning, Catalina de Guzman from Calaocan, SDO, Santiago City. Yeah, good morning po. Now let's wrap up. Okay. And uh, let's have the activity safety in the new normal. Now, I want you to tell me, you type in uh, using our comment box, what are your thoughts and feelings in terms of safety protocols in handling canoeing and kayaking equipment and the facilities in time of pandemic? Okay. So, ano po ba yung mga dapat nating isalang-alang, dapat nating tandaan? Ano po ang inyong mga uh, mga naiisip, ano po ang inyong mga nararamdaman, okay? Ano yung sa tingin yung dapat gawin? As we engage to this canoeing and kayaking activity, okay. also when it comes to the, the protocol, safety protocols, the, the proper etiquette, as we engage to this activity. Now, students, can you, can you write your, your thoughts and feelings about this using our comment box. While I'm waiting, let me greet uh, Kiana Estoria from uh, 12 ABM Ramos General T. De Leon National High School. Also, Kai Sebastian Jos Benaventura. Good morning as well, Carl Steven Busog. Let me also uh, greet uh, Franz Rain Valiasfin from Ramos GTD LNHS. Uh, good morning, po. So, students, kindly tell me what are your thoughts and and uh, feelings about uh, the safety protocols and even the proper etiquette as you handle cano canoeing and kayaking equipment. So, let me check. Ano kaya ang inyo pong naiisip? So what do we have to bear in mind? What are the things that you have to follow as well? Okay, good morning, Orlando San Victores and Rovelin Solis watching from Bonifacio Memorial yeah, Elementary School. So actually, yes, uh, this... Sabi ni Yuan Gabriel Fajardo, what grade po ito? Particularly po uh, for grade 12, senior high school. This is Health Optimizing Physical Education 4. Okay, sabi ni Rovelin Solis, no? we have to so still no, wash our hands, sanitize our hands, probably before, uh, during, and after using the different equipments. So, for example, uh, you can sanitize yung kano, yung kayak, yung paddle before you use it. Yes, that is correct, Rovelin. Thank you for that. How about the other spot? What are your thoughts and feelings as you handle this kano and kayak equipment? You can might include as well safety protocols and proper etiquette. While waiting, uh, you're welcome, Orlando San Victores. Yeah, hi, Kian, watching from Caloocan, SDO Santiago City. 
Yeah, aside from washing your hands as we handle, yes, um, after doing the activity ng canoeing and kayaking, so we have to return properly the equipment. Yes, that, that's correct. So sabi ni another from um, Rainson, yan, sinabi niya na, na handling equipment, it must be sanitized first. Okay, very good. Uh, lanilin for lanilin, habay habay. Before doing the activity, we should make sure that we are healthy enough for us not to be infected easily as well. Yes, that is correct, no? Hindi lang dahil sa kagustuhan natin uh, gawin ang, ang activity na ito. So, uh, we should also be, you know, uh, physically, uh, mentally ready as we do this activity. Yeah, following the health protocols, that is correct. From Francesca Makaraeg, um, so we have to consider a lot of proper etiquette. So, uh, uh, can uh, Francesca, no, may I request na please be more specific as we consider this a lot of proper etiquette po, no, and safety protocols. Uh, according to to Evelyn, so, so better if we bring some first aid kit in case of injuries or emergencies. That's correct, Evelyn. Thank you. Now, though we have this, may sinasabi tayo mga health protocols, no? Sabi ni Penny Narisma, we have to follow. Uh, also, maintain or keep social distancing according to Orlando. And also, okay, nasabi din na rin ni Chenely, no, we have to bring back the equipment in its right place. Kasi there would be other individuals who would use this, those equipment. Okay, so social distancing, follow the health protocols, sanitize, and also no, uh, also you have to to check your body as well if you are ready enough to engage to this particular activity. Thank you so much, students, for, for your part participation, your active participation for today's lesson. I appreciate uh, it so much. And uh, that ends our lesson for week six about kayaking and canoeing. I hope you're able to learn about the nature and characteristic of kayaking and canoeing. Also, if, if it's possible, there would be a time that you can engage in this activity because you know for the fact na merong mga benefits tayong makukuha sa ganitong klaseng activity. And uh, again, for uh, thank you for, for, uh, for tuning in for our Itulay online tutorial and for your comments, suggestions, do not forget to email us. Your, your comments and suggestions are very welcome. Just email us at edtech at deved.gov.ph. And then again and again, uh, this is your tutor Shen. Thank you. Thank you so much. And always uh, remember, sabi ko nga, be tougher than your excuses. Dare to be fit. So since you cannot do this activity yet, no, uh, please do uh, physical activities, active physical activities while you are staying at home. Thank you so much. And muli, kita-kita po tayo next week. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page 
at Educational Technology Unit Channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd tayo at DepEd Philippines Social Media Accounts. Paalam!